Hey YouTubers, it's Kate Kittles here and I'm so happy to be smiling right now. Um, I've gone basically through um, a week and a half of hell. Um, if you don't know by now, I live in Long Island, New York. I live in Lindenhurst and part of my town was destroyed by Hurricane Sandy. And if that didn't make it worse enough, um, we received a nor'easter, uh, which is like a snowstorm slash windstorm slash rain slash devastation um, after the um, hurricane about like a few days later. So after we were out of light we for like four or five days, no heat, no light, no nothing, and it was like 30 degree weather. We finally got light, like uh, for two days, and then the nor'easter hit, and then we didn't have light again during the nor'easter evening while it was going through, and it was like about 20 degrees, 20 below 30 degrees, I should say, and freezing winds, rain, snow, all at once. It was just like a total disaster. And it was cold. I had to sleep in my bed like an old lady with that blue robe over there with some tights on, a long sleeve shirt, and that robe on underneath a down comforter and a fleece blanket. And it was, it was for lack of a better word, an experience. But, you know, through the grace of God, the next day I went to work. My daughter didn't have school because her school didn't have a light. And um, when I got home that evening, we had light again. And I really am thankful for that. And unfortunately, a lot of people lost a lot more than I did. All I, I lost a lot of food. My um, fence broke outside. Some branches fell down from my backyard. But thank God I have my life, my family, and um, my home is intact. And um, my heart goes out to the people who really lost a lot, their homes. When I go to work and pe the patients come in to me and they tell me how they really, they have no home, they're sleeping in the shelter, they have dogs and, and animals and they can't find their animals or you know the house is flooded with four feet of water and it's really hard because this is my home this is New York this is where I grew up and you know it's really devastating to me that this is in our backyard you know you never expect New York to go through something like this and it's winter time it's cold the water is freezing cold so can you imagine waking up and you sleep upstairs and you have to come down into a freezing cold water to go into your kitchen just to get out of your house and just to go somewhere and you can't leave your home because people are looting and coming in there and stealing your television and and your belongings and everything and you can't drive away because basically your car is underwater and if you drive you might just drive over in a ditch and you could just pass you know pass away make things worse so you just have to basically stay there and wait for people to come and rescue you and it's really really just devastating and we we treat patients with um, right now I'm working in ophthalmology and um, and I'm a ophthalmic technical manager and it's just terrible to hear the stories we treat patients with glaucoma severe glaucoma and um, we treat them with cataract surgery so these patients they need surgery and they need treatment and they need care so, and they're elderly, and it's, it's terrible. So, we have to hear all the devastation and the stories that they go through, and they can't find their family, and they can't find their cats, they have no phone. And you always think like, oh, if a storm comes through, the phone lines will still work. I have like one of those older phones with the cord that you can plug in. No, those phones are not working. Your cell phones are not working because the towers are down. Nothing is working this is like unbelievable um 
the gas lines, that's a story in itself. Um, you run out of gas, you're sitting on a gas line for like two, three hours just to fill up your tank. It's really, really hardcore ridiculous. Um, my daughter didn't go to school all last week. She didn't go to school Monday. She didn't go to school Tuesday. Um, she went to school on... Um, no, she didn't go to school Wednesday. She went to school Thursday and Friday, and that was it. And I'm like, this is crazy. It's just horrible. Um, now she's got to make up tests and exams and things like that. So the whole school system is all one and a half week behind because of, you know, nature, basically. And But all I can say is for everyone that's suffering through this, I, I am praying for you. My heart is going out to you. My family is here. And we all, we all have a heart for you guys. And if I could, I will do everything I can for you guys. Um, they're accepting donations at the Red Cross. They're accepting donations from, I think FEMA is also accepting donations. Um, be careful of scams, taking donations. I know that people said that Craigslist was taking some donations, but you have to be careful with those, um, certain people were giving out chain text messages, taking donations, just be careful with that also. Make sure that whatever you send your money to is an accredited donation. Make sure it's a big company so that you know your money's going to the right place. And um, thank you for watching and listening. And um, to all my subbies, I love you and thank you for all my new subbies. I love you guys. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here. Thank you. Bye-bye.